Hi, this is Kenny from Marathon Power. Today, I would like to talk about the balance function of the lithium-ion batteries. A lithium-ion battery typically consists of multiple cells that are connected in series to achieve the desired voltage. The cells may have a slight differences in their characteristics, such as the capacity, internal resistance, and self-discharge rate, which can lead to the imbalance between the cells during the use. When cells become imbalanced, some cells may be overcharged while others are undercharged, which can result in reduced the battery capacity, shorten the battery life, and even safety issues such as the thermal runaway. Balancing a lithium-ion battery involves ensuring that each cell in the pad is charged to the same voltage level. This is typically achieved by using a battery management system BNS, that monitors the voltage of each cell and controls the charge and discharge of the cells to maintain the balance. The BNS can be various techniques such as shutting current from the fully charged cells to the undercharged cells or limiting the charge rate of the fully charged cells to balance the cells. There are several methods that can be used to balance the cells in the lithium-ion battery pad. We will mainly talk about the passive balance and active balance which are common use. Passive balance displays extra energy from the high energy cell through the resistive elements until the charge matches that of the low energy cells in the pad. Passive cell balancing allows all the cells to appear to have the same capacity. There are two different classes of the passive balance method, fixed shock resistor and the switch shock resistor. A fixed shock resistor circuit is usually connected across the fixed shock to prevent it from the overcharge. With the help of resistor, passive balance circuit can control the limit value of its cell voltage without damaging the cells. The energy dissipated by this resistor balance in the battery can cause heat loss in the BNS. Switching shot resistor battery balance circuit is the most common used method in the battery pass balance at prism. This method has a continuous mode and a sensing mode. The continuous mode controls all the switches to turn on and off at the same time, and the sensing mode requires all the real-time voltage sensor for each cell. The passive balancing circuit displays high energy through the balancing resistors. The cell balance circuit is suitable for the battery system that requires small charge and discharge current such as the storage system, etc. The advantage of the passive balance is that it's not necessary to balance a working battery pack. A cell cannot waste the energy it does not have. Once the energy is full, that's only when the cells to have the enough energy to balance. It allows all cells to have the same SOC. It provides a very low cost method of the cells balancing. It creates the long term dismatches of the discharge rate current between cells. Active battery balance typically transfer energy from one cell to another, that is, from the high voltage, high SOC to the cells with the lower SOC. The purpose of an active balance is that if you have a band of the lower capacity cells, you can extend the life of the battery pad or SOC by diverting more energy from the cells in the battery pad to the others. Instead of wasting all the energy as heat, active balance effectively balances the cells through the microconverter that transfers the energy from the highest voltage cell to the lowest voltage cell. The advantage of the active balance is that it improves the capacity utilization. It works well when you have the different cells capacity in the battery pad. It improves the energy efficiency. It conserves the energy by diverting the excess energy to the lower energy cells instead of burning the excess energy in the battery. It improves the life expectancy as well as the fast balancing. The active balance circuit is relatively complicated and generally use energy storage elements such as the inductor and the capacitor and switching the power supplies to the transfer the power. The overall solution takes up a lot of space and the cost relatively high and is generally used in the large scale energy storage system. At present, low voltage batteries from 12V to 48V and some high voltage battery in the energy storage system basically use the passive balance methods. The passive balance current is relatively small, so it's broad. The tight effect of the balance is also relatively slow. If the voltage difference of the cells in the battery pad is relatively large, the voltage difference of the cells may not be fully balanced when the battery is fully charged. For example, for 48 volt battery pad, BNS is an improved voltage balance algorithm when designing the passive balance function. 
During the charging process, it's necessary to check that the voltage of the cells with the highest voltage is higher than the preset threshold voltage. And in the same time, compare the max voltage difference of each cell is greater than the preset threshold voltage difference. Two conditions all are satisfied, the battery will enter in the balance process. In order to reduce the impact of the battery impedance and the light impedance on the balance voltage, it's generally selected to perform the balance under the conditions of the relatively small battery impedance and the relatively small current, such as the charging end. In addition, it's also necessary to avoid the balance in the flat area of the lithium battery voltage because the small voltage difference in the flat area will correspond to the large capacity difference. To sum the above two reasons, in order to avoid the false balance, the start threshold voltage of the voltage based balance algorithm is generally set at the charge end. The battery voltage has exceeded the flat area. The stop balance conditions, the stop conditions is not met or other security event to stop the balance. The above are the information I would like to share with you today to have more ideas of the balance function in the lithium batteries. In summary, balance is crucial to ensuring the battery optimal performance, extending the battery life, and ensuring the safety. It's a critical aspect of the battery management that should be considered carefully in the design or use of any battery pack. If you would like to know more about the balance current or the logic of the Marathon battery, welcome to contact us. See you next time. Bye.